All right, major solar update. There might be a cause for concern here. Um, looking at the X-ray flux, there was a long duration M flare, and when it looks like that, it's it's usually a release of material. Like there's usually almost always a CME with something with a flare that looks like that. And if I had to guess, it would be from that that beast center sunspot. I mean, it's obvious which one I'm talking about if you just look at the uh, the visible solar disk here, and from where it's situated, I mean, that is almost a perfect dead center. It's a little bit past. So if there was a big CME that came out of here, um, I mean, odds are it's, we're going to get hit with some of it, if not a direct blast. And then here in the 131 angstrom wavelength, you can see that's where it came from. Definitely came from uh, the center sunspot there. So the, the Lasco imagery isn't out yet, and probably won't be for a while before NASA can go in and edit it. But that's not all. It's not only that there's an, an, a long-duration M-flare right now. Uh, for the past hour, I guess, yeah, the past hour, the BZ has been way south, like negative 40 south. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, you can get storms at like 10 to 15, and this is at negative 40, and it was for greater part of a half hour. Um, it looks like it's turned northward now. Hopefully it'll stay there. And, of course, with that, you get a KP uh, that goes into storm level. So there is a geomagnetic storm, and it's going to shoot up. This is delayed. Obviously, the, the what we let just last looked at with the BZ is up to date. The, the next update will come out in a few hours on this, and you can almost guarantee it's going to go up to 6 or 7, I would think. But that's not all. The proton storm, which has been ongoing, is now going to be it, it as at level three storm level you can't i don't know if it is or not but the high energy protons all the protons are going up so there's a geomagnetic storm a long duration earth facing m flare and as well as a proton storm there's a lot going on so by the time the next cme gets here we're, we're going to be extremely unsettled so that's kind of like hitting somebody when they're down like they're in shock and you get another jab to the jaw. And what this is is storms that just popped up today that weren't forecast that just popped up along the southern end, southern edge of a front that's to the north of us in Brazil. So these storms were not supposed to happen today, but I'm get with all the energy coming in that's already been integrated the front probably just got energized and these storms are popping up. And believe me, I'm down underneath these it is no joke right now what's going on up there. And this here is the lightning density that's going on overhead. I and mean, again, these weren't supposed to happen, so these are direct result of the energy that's come in in the last couple of days. I'm absolutely sure of it. And it's really serious up there, loud and bright, really, really strong lightning and thunder. So, but the major this is that's just a side note, really. It's about the sun and what's going on, the energy right now in the inner solar system that we need to be concerned about, and any. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Hopefully nothing happens, but there's a lot of things going on right now. A lot of different indicators are all peaked at storm level here. 